What's good everyone, you dig, 4 eyes, 2 G's here. So, the other day I was talking to a friend about music, and we were kinda talking about older SoundCloud releases like Old Bones, Old Uzi, and the stuff we used to listen to, and he basically asked a question, what happened to SoundCloud? And we talked about it for a bit and I thought it'd make a good video, because I remember SoundCloud back in 2015 and 2016 was the central place to go for all these bubbling underground scenes, and it seems that every artist that was coming up was doing so through SoundCloud, and and it didn't matter what scene they were from or what type of music they were making, all the way from the Atlanta trap scene like Akadi or Yachty to the underground emo scene like Suicide Boys, Tracy or Peep. And SoundCloud as a whole, I feel, is a far cry from its 2016 self in 2019. And this video here is not going to be looking at the financial or the monetary side of it, because if you do, it's not looking good for them as in 2017 they laid off 40% of their staff to keep them alive. But instead, this video is going to be more focused on looking at SoundCloud as a framework to expose and develop hip-hop artists, and to cultivate the DIY kind of underground independent hip-hop culture in general. And to be honest, it's not like SoundCloud necessarily did anything wrong as a platform, because they were forced to grow up in a sense, and their monetization methods that aligned them with the rest of the industry was necessary for survival. But ultimately, although SoundCloud still remains a tool for unknown artists to start bubbling, it's a shell of its former self. And before we go on guys, please make sure to hit that like button if you haven't, subscribe to my channel if you aren't, turn on notifications so you guys don't miss a video, follow your boy on all social medias for more, and make sure to click the link in the description for the merch you see on screen if you're interested. Also, make sure to comment your thoughts on this topic below. Is SoundCloud dying? Do you think it's dead? Do you still use SoundCloud? Let me know in the comments. But let's get back to it. And I think this is most evidenced by the SoundCloud charts, whereas back in 2015 and 2016, it was littered with unsigned and basically unknown artists to the mainstream at least on the come up. It represented the most popping underground DIY artists releasing music on their own, whereas now it's basically alike any other streaming platform as it's been consumed by the music industry. The Elevator Mag reported in 2017, quote, at this time last year, SoundCloud's top 50 was filled with newly discovered gems from some of the rap game's top prospects. Fast forward 12 months and record labels have scooped up nearly every artist on the current list. 46 of the current top 50 songs on SoundCloud were initially released by a record label. And again, this isn't meant to jab or attack SoundCloud because it makes sense when you contextualize it with the crop of artists who went to the mainstream from 2015 to now. Your Cardis, your Yotties, your Pumps, your Perp, etc etc were all a part of SoundCloud's quote-unquote heyday in 2015 and 2016 as a music discovery platform. So it makes sense that as these quote-unquote SoundCloud artists were taken in by the music industry and signed and groomed by labels and went from bedroom artists to mainstream entities that the platform that they started on that was similarly seen as an independent bedroom entity was given the same treatment and taken in by the music industry, which is how we end up with what the Elevator Mag reported back in 2017, where 46 out of the top 50 songs were initially released by a record label on the platform, something that wouldn't have been the case in 2014 or 2015 where the platform had it been consumed by the industry and independent artists were still running it. I think in addition to this, the rise of new media platforms as powerful cosigns to make artists popular is partly responsible. Nowadays, I think in particular YouTube is more dominant than ever before in its ability to get artists popular. In. And don't get what I'm saying twisted before I finish the point. Since people like Bones and Young Lean and Lil B, there's been examples of YouTube making artists stars. But there's a difference between an artist starting a channel themselves and then through that channel they really become something big and a pre-existing YouTube content creator or brand giving an artist a cosign to make that career pop. And nowadays, I think we've seen these brands, entities and personalities become the new modern cosign to make a rapper's career explode. Just think about these recent examples from Lil Skies to Kamethazine to Juice World to Mali even. All of their breakout moments or songs or videos can be in some way or another attributed to a YouTube channel like Cole Bennett's, No Jumpers, or Cuffboys. And an extension of this, we've even seen these channels like Trash or Astari that don't really have any part in the creative process like directing or editing, but they've built up these massive fan bases by uploading different people's music, and we constantly see new, undiscovered talent being put on by channels like these. So, I think the rise of the YouTube content creator cosign as of late has taken some of the power away from 
SoundCloud as a music discovery platform and has made it less influential in the hip hop culture. So whilst I can't say SoundCloud is literally dead because of course it still functions as a platform and you can absolutely still find gems and undiscovered music on there, but I think as a platform to curate hip hop culture and make artists popular, I think it's lost that edge and power it once had a few years ago. Partly due to it maturing as a platform, as a byproduct of the industry grooming that the wave of SoundCloud rap in 2015 and 16 experienced. But secondly, also due to the rise of YouTube content creators as the next iteration of influential cosigns that hold a lot of influence and power to make people popular. But that's all from me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this topic. And if you haven't, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, turn on notifications so you don't miss a video, and follow your boy on all social medias for more.